I want to leave behind tangible achievements, things we can touch and measure, things that will endure, things that will make a difference in our lives. I, Mel Carnahan, I, Mel Carnahan, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, to support the Constitution of the United States, to support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Missouri, and the Constitution of the State of Missouri, and that I will faithfully demean myself, and that I will faithfully demean myself, in the office of governor, in the office of governor, so help me God, so help me God. Well, everyone knows that no governor can be perfect, but if you're going to get something done, welfare reform, or education, or crime, or jobs, uh, you just simply have to go on and do what you think is right. That's what I've done. I was up at the Pony Express Museum the other day. That's in uh, St. Joseph. And they've got a neat statue of the Pony Express Special. This is your future. In these eyes rests a vision of dreams unseen. In these hands lie achievements yet to be realized. And in these hearts burns the hope for a better Missouri to come. A child is a person who's going to carry on what you have started. The fate of humanity is in his hands. Teach him well. In those young people's eyes, I see the intelligence, the enthusiasm, the energy that will build a better Missouri for all of us. Our nation hungers for heroes. It's the nature of our spirit. Heroes founded this land, and they built its greatness. And now it's in the hands of the heroes of today to shape its vision for the new century. When I became governor, our schools were really hurting. They were in poor shape and they needed reform. I believe I have a mandate to bring government back to ground level where real people live. The people of the state of Missouri have entrusted us with their future. We must not fail them. You. Our legacy should be a solid foundation for these young people to build on. A Missouri that answers their questions, encourages their ideas, and fulfills their dreams. I am convinced that we have the heart and the will to make great progress 
and do great things. If we're really to embrace the future, we must first embrace the child. Generations from now, when the balloons and the bunning are gone, and when our speeches are shelved in the archives, those who are children now will remember our deeds. May they look back and say, we preserved the future for them. Yeah.